Yeah, we're filming, Ali. Hi, this is Mubarak. I'm the nurse manager at Board District Health. This video is a short presentation of our activities for the past one year. Board District Health acknowledges the traditional owners of the land, the Jajaran country and the Jara people. Hi, I'm Craig Winter. I'm the Director of Medical Services at the Health Service. I've been here for a number of years now and seen many changes in that time. Over the last 12 months, we've obviously been very impacted by COVID and that's impacted what I do and also how the health service responds. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to be on site for the last four or five months because of COVID. And that's also been an impact. So I've had to manage using Zoom, working off site, and it's really good to be back. I've been back now today for the first time. It's been great to reacquaint myself with everybody, to also meet with Chris, the GP, and all the other staff here. I look forward to continuing doing this. Hopefully no COVID around to impact on what we do. But there's been a lot of preparation that's gone on here and I think the health service has responded very well in being prepared in the unlikely event that there was COVID. Our most recent project is the 16 days of activism, which we did last year as well. The Men's Pit Stop Project is a collaborative initiative by Lauren Shire and Board District Health. Let's rewind and start from December 2019. On 25th of January 2020, the first case of COVID reported in Australia. As per the CEO advice, Port District Health set up an incident command centre to review and escalate our response as per the department guidelines. We updated our pandemic policy, obtained additional stock and reconfigured day centre as a potential COVID ward. Non-emergency and external services suspended with extensive use of telehealth. So the nursing staff and everyone else adapted and was able to use technology to continue with my visits. We're practicing till level three restrictions where we only saw the emergencies. Uh, later on, as things used, we uh, went back to level one. Um, um, and again, second phase hit, and uh, again, we had to go back to level three. District Health currently has restricted access to visitors. Uh, we are maintaining social distancing. People are bored. We are very happy here. And the hospital staff is really looking after us. During COVID, we've managed to keep the spirits high of the residents. We're so happy and is the reason why. Stay at home. It's the best place, there's no place like home. When you look at how the world's going, you don't have a 
choice. You've got to do it. Oh, these bikes are going to muddy up our bus. Hey. Do I push it? Is no, it no, don't it? push it. Don't push anything. This year we achieved 100% compliance of all our staffing immunisations for the influenza vaccine. We also endeavour to get 100% vaccination of our aged care residents and some acute. Not going to be, you know, a blood pressure of 160 is not going to make them time periods necessary. And then the top strap. Now the reason for this is because some masks, the bottom strap is a bit tight. Um, as the activities coordinator at Loddon Place, I've had a, to adapt all the activities here um, at BDH. The residents have been very understanding of the changes and that have been put in place during these um, times. We've had to run activities with less people. And we had a very emotional Anzac Day. Billy has organized a commemorative ceremony on the 75th anniversary of the end of the Second World War. Our veterans received a commemorative medallion and a certificate from the Department of Veteran Affairs in this ceremony. I can say, I have a certificate for you. Yeah. I do, and a medal. Come on, old boy. Yeah. So we have a medal and a certificate for you, Richard. That's for you. This medal's for you, Mary. How beautiful is that? Jack, we're giving you a medal today to say thank you. You did a bloody good job. Thank you, Jack. You do wear mask in North Pole? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So how often do you sanitize your hands? Every time I touch my mask, I sanitize my hands. <laughs> staff are just working to help each other decrease some of the workload that everyone has it's been quite difficult for people everyone else is rolling there in the management team is to assist everyone and their well-being and just to make sure that we've all been able to manage through this pandemic um, together and work as a team This particular activity made the biggest news of all. They're reminding people to keep creative and reach out for help as a way of overcoming the challenges. After five months in isolation, residents were reunited with their loved ones, albeit from a distance. Absolutely amazing. There was a couple of kids in the cars yesterday calling out to their grandparents or great-grandparents, and that was probably really one of the main highlights as well. Ford District Health have been surprised with a drive-by yeah. parade from family and friends. It's the first time some of the elderly community has seen their loved ones in person since the start of the pandemic. Watched on as a convoy of cars driven by their loved ones passed by. This is a whole little township, fair <laughs> 
And we had a very special visitor on Melbourne Cup Day. Wonderful thing that we were able to have a horse here on Melbourne Cup Day. It's a thumbs up. It's the first time for everything. <laughs> Do you want to sit on it, Joe? Yeah, I might go for a ride later. His ears are wagging, yeah. <laughs> Quite a pony, but it's good looking. See the children in the book parade. We're in board. No, we're in board. <laughs> oh, darlings. <laughs> Wonderful. How did you organise that? Today is Aged Care Employee Day, and I just want to say thank you for the awesome contribution that all our aged care workers make to the lives, the health, and well being of our 25 aged care residents. Just want to say how happy I am to be here. The staff are wonderful. I really think they do a great job and Everything to go as well as it possibly can. I'd like to thank the staff for the care and also the love that they show to each one of us. We put their needs before ours. Um, we love them very much. I've prepared a beautiful salad and some sandwiches. I love my job. I'd like to thank the staff for their good that for looking after us and all the good things they do for us. Stay safe, everyone. What a wonderful staff. I love them all. I say to everyone that they do a pleasure day. And everyone have a safe and happy day. It's wonderful staff who are amazing, really. I want to thank them for what they are doing for us at this difficult time. And we had our Remembrance Day celebrated within COVID guidelines. The garden musical was equally loved by the residents and the staff. I don't know much about Halloween. What is Halloween anyway? Are you okay? Is a really important day.
this is our first time of doing an abort show because it was cancelled because of COVID this year. So between the staff, the residents and Mary Marie's and her year seven children, we've put on this show which the residents have thoroughly enjoyed. on wheels today. We've got some soup. What else do we need, Michelle? To the residents' home and all good. I find the Meals on Wheels very good and I hope to continue the service. We go to the community every day, Monday to Friday. We see about six to nine people a day, only dressing changes, blood pressures and general welfare checks. Ten years service, Aileen Morris. 20 years service. <laughs> That's fantastic. So. 20 years. 20 years, oh my gosh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that's awesome. Well done. Great. Nice, nice. Hi, this is the Port District Health Accommodation Project. We started building in March 2020. Hopefully we'll be finished um, early January 2021. Um, it's taken a little bit longer this year due to the COVID um, holding up some of the um, equipment and supply. Our biggest project is coming on is the Healing Garden, which Talking we are to Arnie Marilyn with um, from the Jar Jar Warung our consumers involved in the signage for Port District Health, which is now finalised. Well, what a year. Port District Health full of COVID warriors. All our great activities, as well as 542 presentations in our urgent care centre was business as usual. Over 600 COVID swabs. 300 community, 200 staff, and over 70 patients and residents, all swabbed, all negative, great effort. Great year, well done team. The successful accreditation of our imaging, our mobile x-ray unit, OPG machine in dental. Thank you everyone for previewing our film here. It's been an incredible year, 2020, and looking back at the remarkable achievements our staff and our community have been able to make, despite the enormous threat and terrible situation we've faced with COVID, We've managed to come through it in shining colours really and it's a credit to everyone that they've been able to embrace such positive energy and move ahead despite those threats that we've all faced and it's been an enormous pleasure to be associated with everyone here while they've continued to provide the highest standards of care and I'd like to thank our staff, our board, our community and everyone associated with Port District Health for what you've done to make our year an incredible year for everyone. Thank you very much.